So Xpeng set a record, right? In 24 hours, their P7, the new P7 drove just under just under 4,000 kilometers in 24 hours. That's 2,500 miles. But um, this new Mercedes-Benz using some pretty insanely impressive technology that will be in Mercedes-Benz's within the next year or two has completely shattered that number. And, you know, I have often said that European car manufacturers are well behind the Chinese. And in a lot of ways, they are. But if this technology is in Mercedes-Benz's future EVs, and I think Mercedes-Benz are going to do a partnership with BMW potentially as well to use some of this technology in their cars too, then actually Europe is catching up pretty quickly because we're talking a vehicle that charges at 950 kilowatt, right? And uses incredibly advanced motors and batteries. Full credit to Mercedes-Benz. I've been saying this for a few years now. They have some incredible technology. Just haven't really used it in their EVs yet, but it's coming very, very soon. And this is really a preview of future Mercedes-Benz electric cars, which I think is quite exciting. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, and it's great to have you with us. The Mercedes-Benz AMG, AMG GT XX. You can't buy it, but um, hopefully you can at some point soon. It drove 3,405 miles in 24 hours. That's 5,500 kilometers. Sounds fake, doesn't it? I mean, 5,005, well, okay, to be exact, 5,479 kilometers or 3,405 miles. How on earth can you drive that far in 24 hours? I mean, that's 943 miles or 1,518 kilometers more than the record set by the Xpeng P7, which honestly was incredible in and of itself. How do they do this? Well, for one, they drove at a constant 186 miles an hour. 186 miles per hour. That is 299.4 kilometers an hour. Oh, okay, let's round it off. That's 300 kilometers an hour. They averaged that for 24 hours. How can, how can any car in the world do that, guys? This actually destroys... If you look at Le Mans 24 hours, the biggest 24 hours races in the world, electric cars are going to destroy them in the future. This is staggering. And it was charged at an impressive 850 kilowatt. So they charged it every time it ran out of power, which was quite often, at 850 kilowatt. So at the end of the test... The AMG GT XX actually drove the circumference of the earth in a record time. A team of 17 drivers drove the car for eight days straight, right? And in eight days, it did 24,901 miles. That's 40,075 kilometers. And actually, it's not even eight days. It was seven days and 13 hours. Yeah, uh, insane. Now, apparently, they didn't just do this with one car, right? They did it with one car for the actual test, but two different cars were driving at the same time, and they both finished the test. I have never heard of an internal combustion engine car driving at these kinds of speeds for seven days, 25,000 miles in seven days. It's just absolutely wild. Anyway... The team actually kept driving the EVs until they passed the 25,000 mile marker. And yeah, 25,000 miles took seven days and 14 hours. In addition to that, they set 25 new world records, including longest distance driven in 12 hours, in 24 hours, in 48 hours, in 72 hours, in 96 hours, in 120 hours, in 144 hours, and in 168 hours. Now, these records are not for EVs. They're just for any car. Who would have thought that an electric car could set distance records, right? I thought you had to charge them. It was going to take forever to charge. Yeah, well, that's the record. So pretty staggering numbers, aren't they? This is a concept car, and it has some incredibly cool tech from Mercedes-Benz, including its actual flux electric motors. Now, the concept car doesn't have huge amounts of power, to be honest. I mean, it is very powerful, but in comparison to, say, Buick's electric supercar, it's 
Well, not so powerful. It's got 1,360 horsepower, but it's got two less motors. So two motors provide a total of 1,360 horsepower. Now those motors are integrated into high performance electric drive units. And at the rear, the two drive units are paired with compact gearboxes and one inverter each in a single housing. Or the front electric drive acts as a booster and is only activated when needed. Now I should point out, it doesn't actually have two motors, it's got two at the rear and it's got one at the front. But predominantly it works as a rear wheel drive vehicle. So when it's driving at really high speeds, it's only gonna be rear wheel drive, right? And the reason is to save, basically to save battery power. I think one of the coolest things about this vehicle though is it's newly developed cylindrical, as in similar size batteries to Tesla's 4680 cylindrical cells, which are now being used in many different manufacturers, cylindrical nickel cobalt manganese aluminum, so NCMA batteries, that have an energy density very high for non-solid state batteries of 300 watt hours per kilogram. To give you some context, I mean, the average energy density of the newest lithium ion phosphate batteries in no, some of the good EVs today is 180 watt hours per kilogram. So this is nearly double. The whole pack has just over 3000 cells and the temperature of each battery cell can be directly regulated by a non-conductive oil cooling system. All of this is joined with the pack's rated voltage of over 800 volts, meaning the battery pack can accept more than 850 kilowatt of power when connected to the right DC fast charger. Of course, you need the right charger for this to all work. According to Mercedes-Benz, the car can get 248 miles of range added to its batteries in five minutes. So basically that's what they were doing. Driving flat out at 300 kilometers an hour, as soon as the battery died, they'd charge it for five minutes, put an extra 248 miles back into the car, and then off they go again. Now, of course, you're not gonna get 248 miles of range from five minutes of charging if you're driving at 300 kilometers an hour. You're probably gonna get closer to 100 miles of range. 100 miles, charge. 100 miles charge. That's basically what they were doing. 100 miles charge, 100 miles charge for 25,000 miles. <laughs> I mean, that's wild. Imagine how many times they charge the battery. You think about it this way, right? If you charge 10 times for every 1,000 miles, 25,000 miles, that's charging 250 times. Yeah, so 250 fast charges at 850 kilowatt charging, and they didn't die this EV continued to drive. I reckon if Mercedes-Benz actually enabled people to buy this vehicle, it would be a massive success. I mean, this thing is truly a staggering work of art. It's engineering genius. And honestly, kudos to Mercedes. This is a phenomenal achievement. I think it's not so much the achievement itself, but it's what it represents. It's the fact that this car was capable of doing this. Why was it capable of doing this? Why could it drive this far after this many fast charges without having any faults. And not only one of them, but two of them, all, they both completed this record. It's a staggering, if you actually look at the reliability of vehicles driving at 300 kilometers an hour in a race, they are incredibly unreliable. The, the chances of one car making it through 24 hours is probably about 20%, yeah? Look at all the, the 24 hour races, they last probably 20% of the time they're getting to the finish line at when they're driving at 300 kilometers an hour. But these guys did this nonstop for nearly well, seven and a half days. And both of them continued with no issues whatsoever. 